In any case, we were told not to speak of the plan to anyone. This is a betrayal of the Dark Lord's... Sissy, your own sister, you wouldn't... Severus, I'm sorry to come here like this, but I had to see you. I think you are the only one who can help me. I have been told to say nothing to anyone, but then you ought to hold your tongue, particularly in present company. Present company? And what am I to understand by that, Bellatrix? That I don't trust you, Snape, as you very well know. Narcissa... I think we ought to hear what Bellatrix is bursting to say. It will save tedious interruptions. Well, continue, Bellatrix. Where were you when the Dark Lord fell? Why did you never make any attempt to find him when he vanished? What have you been doing all these years that you've lived in Dumbledore's pocket? Why did you stop the Dark Lord procuring the Sorcerer's Stone? Why did you not return at once when the Dark Lord was reborn? Where were you a few weeks ago when we battled to retrieve the prophecy for the Dark Lord? And why, Snape, is Harry Potter still alive when you have had him at your mercy for five years? Before I answer you, oh yes, Bellatrix, I am going to answer. You can carry my words back to the others who whisper behind my back and carry false tales of my treachery to the Dark Lord. Before I answer you, I say, let me ask a question in turn. Do you really think that the Dark Lord has not asked me each and every one of those questions? And do you really think that had I not been able to give satisfactory answers, I would be sitting here talking to you? Severus, why, my son? It is too dangerous. This is vengeance for Lucius's mistake, I know it. If Draco succeeds, he will be honored above all others. But he won't succeed. Will you make the unbreakable vow? Thank you. 